after I've plugged in the scanner, I'm going to go to the Apple menu and click on System Preferences. When I get to System Preferences, I'm going to select Printers and Scanners. And it's going to show me every printer and every scanner that's attached to this computer. This particular scanner is called a CanoScan LIDE100. So I'm just going to click this and say Open Scanner. Down here in the lower left hand corner where it says pictures, that's where it's going to store the pictures when I scan them. So I'm going to change that and tell it to do it on the desktop so I can find them very easily. Then I'm going to take my first drawing and I'm going to put it face down on the scanner which looks a lot like a photocopy machine. Then I'm going to click on the right hand side and say scan. You can't hear it, but it's actually running the little light bulb is actually running underneath it right now and scanning the document. One of the ways that you can tell if you have more than one application open on a Macintosh is by putting your thumb on the command key, which is the key right next to the keyboard, and tapping just one time the tab key. And you'll see a bunch of icons open like this. Every time I tap, it's going to go to a different application. So since it's scanned already, this one is the desktop. It's also called the Finder. So I'm going to click over here on this open window to Desktop, and here's the scan that I just scanned. When I double-click it, it will open up Photoshop. And that's the image that I just scanned. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to take my other picture and replace it with this one in the scanner. Again, thumb on the command key, tap the tab key until I get to the scanning icon. And then again, I'm going to say scan. And it's going to scan that into the document. I'm not worried about any of the other settings at this point because everything we do is going to end up black and white. Because we can only have one color on these things. It's going to be either black on a gray shirt or white, printed white on a black or blue shirt, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so both of my documents have been scanned. I'm going to quit this and go to Photoshop. And this time I'm going to say File Open. I'm going to click on the desktop. And then my second scan should be there it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to say image, image rotation, rotate 90 degree, degrees CCW, which stands for counterclockwise. Then I'm going to click the magnifying glass and click in the center so I can see all my icons in here. If you notice these two tabs at the top of the screen, these are the two files that are currently open. So I'm going to rotate this one also 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then see how you can see the yellow in there? I'm going to change this image from the mode of RGB, which is red, green, and blue, to grayscale, and it's going to take all the color out. So now it's basically a black and white photo with grays. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, all of the image darker and lighter by messing with the contrast. So I'm going to hold the command key down and hit the letter L. L stands for levels. So when I slide this bar over to the right, you'll notice the picture getting darker. 
I slide this one to the left, and it, it lightens up all of the white parts. Here's how you can see the difference. This is with it already corrected, and this is with it without correction. So see the difference? Can you guys see that? Okay, so now I'm just going to take the eraser. And erase this text. Now I'm going to go into my other file. I'm going to change this one also to black and white by going image, mode, grayscale. Then I'm going to make these ones more contrasty also by once again hitting the command L key and making them darker. Okay, so here's where I'm going to combine the two. This second tool down on the left is called the lasso tool. If I click on it, now I can draw a line around this figure right here. I can go up to the image. I'm sorry, go up to the edit menu and say cut. Then I'm going to go into this one and say edit paste. Now see how it still has that uh, gray box around it? This tool right here is called the magic wand tool. Anytime you, I mention a tool to you, you can tell what it is by rolling the mouse over it, and it'll tell you what it is. A little thing will pop up. That's the history brush. That's the stamping tool. All of these different tools do different things. So with the magic wand tool, if I click on this gray area, it selects it all. Now when I use the backspace or the delete key, it's going to delete all that stuff around it. So now she's transparent. So what you're going to do is, on Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to walk back through this process. And on Monday and Tuesday, you're going to combine your CPMA logo with your little icons. One other cool thing about this is I can take this character and I can make it larger in here. The last two things I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file. I'm going to call it T-shirt. And then I'm going to put my name on it. Notice how it says .psd on it. For now, I'm just going to save it on the desktop so I can find it quickly. Then I'm going to save it one more time, and this time I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'll show you the difference between the two. Save as. Down at the bottom where it says Photoshop Format, I'm going to select JPEG. Now here's the difference between the two. This file is still a Photoshop file, and you can tell because there's layers. See how it has the layer with the little ballerina? If I turn the eyeball off, it turns it off. It's still there, but I can turn it on and off, and I can also move it around the screen. On a JPEG, I'll open the JPEG file so you can see the difference. On a JPEG, there's only one layer. So this piece is part of the background now. So that's the difference between a JPEG and a PSD layer file.